Now we're going to do a simple little routine to ease tension in your neck and shoulders. So it's especially good if you've been spending a lot of time working from home at your desk and getting stress, etc. So just start just by checking in, just simply noticing how you feel right now. So noticing where you're holding tension in your body, whether one side feels worse than the other, whether you've got tension in your back, whatever, just literally just noticing how you feel now. So you can kind of compare it at the end. So just without judgment, without criticism, just noticing how your shoulders feel, noticing how your back feels. Just taking a couple of nice deep breaths. Again, just noticing if one side feels worse than the other, if you feel like they're all kind of off, off center or whatever. Yeah, and opening your eyes, sitting up nice and tall. So one of the things, one of the reasons we get shoulder strain is because we're, we're kind of hunched or we're sitting in a strange position and we get real tight and tense and we don't notice until we get a headache. So try and sit up nice and tall, or if you're sitting on a chair or if you're sitting cross-legged, wherever you are, try and sit up nice and tall. Visualize your spine and imagine stretching your spine out like a string of pearls. Imagine your tailbone lengthening down towards the floor. And imagine you've got a hook on the crown of your head and that's stretching up towards the ceiling. And sometimes just that posture is so important. As I always say, if you spend a lot of time sitting, try and make sure that your hips are very slightly higher than your knees. Because if your knees are slightly higher than your hips, you'll end up kind of slouched and end up putting compression in your back. So if you spend a lot of time sitting, posture is so important. So imagine visualizing your spine lengthening, sitting up as tall as you can and keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. Gently draw your tummy in. That also helps protect your lower back and it's far harder to slouch when we're engaging our core muscles. So shoulders relax, just take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, just turning your head round to one side. Inhaling back to center and exhaling round the other side. And just doing that a couple of times. And don't worry how far you're turning your head, that's not important. But to start with, it might feel quite uncomfortable and it might feel that you're not turning very far at all. And that's okay. We're trying to release tension, not add more of it. So just gently turning your head. And you might find after a couple of repetitions that you can turn it a little bit further. And that's all good. So like anywhere else in our body, some people have more mobility than others. And so just nice and gently to the point where you feel a good stretch, but not so that you're bringing tension in. Remember, we're trying to release tension, not to uh, bring more tension in. So inhale as you come to center and exhale as you turn the other way. And even just this very, very simple exercise will start to release tension in your neck and shoulders and help to realign your neck. Come back to center. Inhale, lift your chin as you look up. So don't let the head drop back. Just think of lifting your chin. And as you breathe out, allow your chin to relax to your chest. Now you might notice that feels very tight in the back of your neck, and that's okay. So inhale, lift your chin up, stretch the front of the neck. Exhale, drop your chin to your chest. And all the time that you're doing this, Make sure your spine is staying straight. So the only thing that's moving is your head. So as you bring the chin forward, just make sure you're not slouching. So it's still visualizing that nice tall spine, still drawing your belly button in towards your spine. And again, this helps to mobilize your neck because we're just moving it in different directions. So I said a moment ago, a lot of the reason we get tension is because we stay in one position too long because we're so busy concentrating that we don't move. And this time, allow your chin to drop to your chest and try and relax your head as much as possible. Each time you breathe in, keep pulling that tummy in. Each time you breathe out, try and relax the head even more. And you should start to feel the stretch along your spine as well. And from here, you're just going to gently roll your right ear towards your right shoulder, then back to your chest, and to the other shoulder, and back to your chest. So inhale, roll your ear towards your shoulder, 
and exhale, chin to chest. Now you can go as slowly as you need to, no rush. So again, these muscles might feel quite tight and tense in your back muscles. You might notice your back muscles feeling really tight and tense. And we're also stretching the muscles alongside the spine as we do that. So it's important to keep your spine upright so you're not slouching. Inhaling to the side, exhaling chin to chest. And again, you might start to notice that it feels a little bit easier after a couple of repetitions. You can feel that tightness in the side of your neck. Now, once more. Again, it doesn't have to be a, a major move. It can be the simplest moves can be the most effective. Now, keeping your chin dropped towards your chest. Interlink your hands and rest your hands on the very base of your skull and relax your arms. And you'll notice that really increases the stretch. Now just check as you increase the stretch, you don't tense your shoulders because it feels uncomfortable. So it's just the weight of your arms that are stretching out your neck. And so now you should start to feel it even more along your spine, all the muscles alongside your spine. And each time you breathe in, imagine lengthening your spine even more so your spine is nice and straight each time you breathe out relax your arms even more so your chin starts to come closer to your chest so we often struggle to relax our head and neck because we're used to holding our head up all the time so we may struggle a little bit to completely relax it so you feel all those muscles, the connective tissue alongside your spine, getting a stretch as well. And on your next inhale, lift your elbows, press them back. Imagine squeezing the shoulder blades together as you breathe out. Relax the arms, so it's the weight of the arms drawing the chin forward. So you're keeping that nice, tall spine. Inhale, press the elbows wide and exhale. Relax the head forward. We'll just do a couple more like that. Again, make sure that you're not slouching. So it's just your head that's moving. So you're not tipping forward or rounding over. It's just your head. And as you press the elbows back, you should feel a bit of a stretch in the front of the body as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. If it's too much using the arms as well, then just do it without the arms. And just one more. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, relax those arms. Again, just stay here, take another breath, pull that tummy in, nice tall spine. Exhale, feel that chin relax even more towards your chest. And gently release your arms and slowly Float your head up. Don't come up in too much of a rush. Bring it up nice and slowly. Now just lengthen through your fingertips and inhale, rotate the arms and turn them out as far as you can. Feel the squeeze between the shoulder blades. And as you breathe out, rotate them the other way. Feel a stretch across the upper back. And inhale, turn the palms out, open the chest. Exhale, rotate the other way. Again, still keeping a nice tall spine, tummy in. And the posture is so important to help prevent and release back pain and shoulder pain. So we should do that a few more times and you might be able to move the arms a little bit further each time. Now once more, inhale, hey lovely, rotate the arms out, exhale, rotate them the other way. And inhale, Palms towards me, exhale, press those shoulder blades down away from your ears. Inhale, shrug them up towards your ears. Exhale, slide them down. You can do that a few times. Really tense as you bring them up and imagine relaxing them as you drop them down. Again, each time you drop the shoulders down, try and press them further and further away from your ears. So you're increasing the gap between your ears and your shoulders. And really feel those shoulder blades sliding up and down your rib cage. Yeah, tall spine, tummy in. I know I keep saying it, but it's so easy to forget and let our tummy go, Ooh, and you end up slouching again. And this also helps to 
Release some motional tension in all our meridians that run through our shoulders. And once more, inhale, squeeze up. Exhale, down. And just inhale, open the arms out as if you're trying to press the wall back behind you. Just take a breath here, press back as far as you can, but without tensing your shoulders. And just bring your right arm across in front of you. Use your left arm just to hug it in. Now you might not get it all the way in, that's fine. Feel the stretch on the back of your shoulder and just look over that shoulder. You should feel the stretch in the back of your shoulder. Try and keep this right arm straight as you draw it in towards you. And again, just take a breath or two here. With each exhale, you might be able to bring it a little bit further. But it's not about forcing, okay? Be nice and gentle. And release that arm, reach it up. Drop the hand down between your shoulder blades. Now, if you can, grab hold of your elbow and press it down further. If that makes you feel more tense, then just push through in front. And imagine relaxing all the muscles around your shoulder, around your armpit. You can just drop your chin slightly. Then just take a couple of breaths here. Imagine pressing that hand down a little bit further. Gently release, undo, just take a second here. Notice how that side feels compared to the other side. You might notice a big difference. You might notice a tiny subtle difference. And you open the arms out so you're pressing the wall back behind you. And bring your left arm across in front of you. Keep it straight, using the right arm to pull it in. So again, don't worry, it doesn't come all the way in. Turn to look over that left shoulder for the stretch in the back of your shoulder. Again, just breathing here. Keep drawing that belly button in. And release that up. Lift it up. Try and drop it down between your shoulder blades. You can either grab hold of your elbow or press through in front. Doesn't matter what you do, just make sure you're not tensing. Okay, so keep the shoulders relaxed as you keep trying to press it down a little bit further. <clears throat> Stretching out all the muscles around your shoulder, around your armpit, your upper back. And release the arms again. Press the arms back behind you. Open the chest, lift your heart. And bring the arms in front. Bring your right arm on top of the left, across at the elbows. Try and bend your elbows. Now you might be able to bring your hands together. You might be here, that's fine. Just squeeze the arms together. As you breathe in, try and lift your elbows up but without tensing your shoulders. As you breathe out, imagine pressing your hands, your elbows rather, down towards your belly button. So as you lift the elbows up, you feel the stretch kind of under the armpit. As you press the elbows down, you feel the stretch more on the top of your shoulders. Use that once more. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, press them down towards your belly button. And under your hands, hold onto the back of your shoulder. Imagine you're about to pull your t-shirt over your head and round over. So you feel like you're lengthening and stretching the muscles alongside your spine. So without hinging forward, just imagine rounding over, drop your chin, feel that gentle stretch in the muscles alongside your spine. I know it sounds boring, but keep your tummy pulled in. And pulling back up. Undo the arms. Open the arms out. And bring them in again. This time, left arm over right. Bend at the elbows. Again, if you can bring the hands together, great. If you can't, here is fine. Inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, imagine pressing the elbows towards your belly button. Inhale, lift them up. Try not to tense your shoulders as you do it. Exhale, press them down. And undo the hands. Hold on to the back of your shoulder. Imagine you're about to pull your t-shirt off over your head. Drop your chin. Imagine keeping your lower back pressed against your chair. Stretch the muscles alongside your spine. up, undo the arms, then hold on to the back of your chair and just literally hang forward, 
So you're using gravity to stretch out your chest, stretch out your shoulders. And just let your head hang down, your body hang down, almost as if you were to let go, you'd kind of fall to the floor. So don't let go. Again, just let gravity stretch out the body, head as heavy as you can get it. And each time you breathe out, try and relax your head even more. Gently release, come up and come back. Just notice how your shoulders feel now. So that was a very short, very brief little routine, but hopefully you might notice that those are not quite so tense, you're like, Ooh, like that. So hopefully you find that of some benefit to you. So namaste, beautiful souls. Have an amazing rest of the day. Love and light to you.